Hello everyone, welcome to my second video on how to use Botopia's email scrapper wizard. This video is going to focus on the scrap using search engines option of the scrapper. In the in the search websites uh, option of the scrapper, we were adding URLs to be in our search. Here, instead, we are using keywords. You can enter as many keywords as you want and separate them by enter. Uh, okay, so for example, I want uh, these two keywords. I just leave them like that. It's as it's simple as that. Okay. Uh, for the for this test, I'm just gonna show you for one keyword. Okay, as you can see, there is no stain domain or subdomain option. This is because we are searching for key for websites and emails. We are not crawling a specific website, so there is no real point in staying in a specific website. Okay, so if it enters a website, it the web scrapper is free to go wherever it wants afterwards. Okay. It it just keep on searching, trying to find related keywords. Okay, so as you can understand, this is really important to use the scan complete website or scan websites with depth option. Okay, if you set a low depth, you're gonna find a lot of related emails. If you leave the scan complete website, the crawler is never gonna finish. It's keep gonna keep on finding emails. The last emails are not gonna be really related. Okay some people want to do that so we have this option okay otherwise there's no real point using it from what are the depths depth zero are all the results reported on by google when you search this keyword okay so that all the so this 100 urls are depth zero okay it's going to enter those 100 URLs and grab more URLs. These new URLs are the depth one. The URLs from from that URL are, are depth two. Okay, so and so forth. So if you want to find related keywords, I will just go to one, two, or at most three. Okay. Um, we again have proxy support for these options, like in the previous pre so please see the previous um, uh, see the other uh, video on how, uh, how to use the proxies okay so let's go to the settings as you can see again we have the same options he, we can select the number of threads again I'm gonna set it to 10 okay now something important is selecting the Google search version okay if you want local results go for your local version don't use google.com okay and that a country you're gonna find better results by using your local version for example google.co.uk de.gr etc so if you don't have your google version send us an email using code using the contact us button at our website we'd we'll be happy to add it, okay for the languages we believe we have all the languages supported by google here so again if we don't have a language supported by google send us an email we'll be happy to add it for you for free okay Okay, let's go back and click start. As you can see, there's a small pause here. The pause was because it was searching Google. The first search, in, in the scrapper is initializing. Don't worry if it takes, it may, your internet connection may be a bit slower than mine, okay? So now I'm gonna click the check threads button. You can see what each one of my 10 threads is going. As you can see, they're all on different website or crawling it, okay? Now, again, uh, like the previous version, e like the search websites option, you can go and see the file temp.csv. All our results are gonna be there in case the the crawler is crashed. Okay, so let me go back. Okay, stop the scrapper. Again, like in the other email, like in our other video, you can save the emails. They only this f uh, so basically this column using the save emails option gonna save it into a txt file okay or you can save all details into a csv file okay so 
thank you for watching hope you find our software really useful see you at our next video goodbye